Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22. As we continue our, uh, what is this? We're bacon and eggs run. That's what it is. I'm sorry, I forgot for a second there. This is our bacon and eggs. We're using, uh, doing the pigs over there. We will eventually set up the chickens uh, at some point once we get kind of the pigs established and get our cycle going on the fields. Uh, we're not quite there yet, but, uh, you know, shouldn't be too far away. Uh, we are going to be harvesting this corn here in the next month. Uh, we also have some sugar beets up there uh, in the what is it, field number 77 that will also be getting harvested here shortly as well. Other than that, um, I don't think there's much to do right now. I think we're ready to fast forward. Pigs are doing fine. I mean, there's there's they're pigs. They're doing what they do. So let's go ahead and fast forward at this point, I believe. Let me just make sure I did not miss anything. Uh, 75 is going to be corn. 74 is going to be corn. 81 is going to be sugar beets, and 78 is going to be corn. So, all of that means that... I'm oh, sorry, 78 is going to be canola. Canola. So, um, canola we can't plant anymore. We just missed that. And then, so we'll have to get it next cycle. And then the corn we're planting in April. So, yep, we're good to go. It's always good to double check just to make sure everything looks good. All right, let's go ahead and get you started, Mr. Harvester. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab one of you guys. I guess we'll grab you. Doesn't really matter which one we pick up, but we'll grab the big boy. He's actually a little bit low on fuel. We'll have to get that filled up here shortly. Confirm that the sugar beets are ready to go. Yes, they are. It's going to take us a while to harvest this field. Um, part of me doesn't really want to do the whole thing, to be honest. I mean, it takes such a long time, and time is also money. I mean, obviously the produce or the, the stuff off this field is money, but the time investment, you know, if we don't need this much sugar beets, which we kind of don't, it's almost a justification just to do part of it and then ignore the rest, but we'll stick with it for now. We'll make it make it happen. Obviously, the corn is going to take virtually no time at all. Uh, once the corn is done, that will eventually become canola as well. So we can go ahead and get the plow ready to go. Uh, uh, actually, well, I say plow. We're going to get the, uh, uh, the uh, subsoiler here going first, and then once this is done... We actually will grab the actual plow. Well, I was going to say we'll grab the plow and actually connect this field to the other one, but it's not... We're not going to do that yet, probably until we harvest the canola off of 79 and 80, because I don't want to, like, cause any issues over there. So we'll probably just leave this field kind of empty for now. Just, like, field uh, 78 is currently empty. Or, uh, 70, yeah, 78 is currently empty. Just leave those empty until the next cycle, which will be fine. I mean, there's anything else we could plant just for now? Not really. We're already past everything. Um, I mean, we could run a cycle of oats, I suppose, because by the time the oats are ready to harvest, it will be time to plant the canola. We could also do sorghum. Actually, sorghum wouldn't be the worst idea. Drop some sorghum on those fields. So oats we don't really need, right? We don't need a notes at all. But sorghum, not only do we need it for our pigs, but any extra will go to our chickens. That's actually probably a really good idea, uh, good idea to put some sorghum down on those two fields. And then when they get ready to harvest again, that's when we switch them to canola. Because long term, we're not going to be doing sorghum anyway because we've got corn. But I kind of like that idea. Anything else I see on the list? I mean, soybeans, no, that would come too late. Sunflowers uh, would also be too late. And oats we don't need. Yeah, no, I think I think sorghum in April is a really, really excellent idea. All right, so you are done, my friend.
Not a lot of corn, but every little bit helps, I suppose. I'm just going to go ahead and park this harvester up here for now. We won't need it again for quite some time. No, nope, wrong button. I want to... Oh, there we go. So just pulled up the harvester. Just kind of get it, get it packed away, ready to go for whatever's next. Okay. You're good. You are doing your thing. We will need to put some lime down here momentarily. Actually, before we do that... We need to go get you emptied out. Which is going to be the thing that slows us down the most. I, I need to stay on top of that. We are not going to eat sugar beets for an extremely long time. All right, while that's running, um, what else do we want to take care of? I'm going to need this eventually anyway, so let me go ahead and grab... I'm going to grab us like a little fuel tank or something like that. Just so we have one on the farm. I mean, yes, we could go all the way up to the place, but... I like the idea of having as much as we can on the farm itself. Where should we put it? Probably somewhere back here. Might even just stick it up here on this little bit of a hill. I could just stick it off to the side over here. That's actually not a bad idea either. We really don't need the big one. We just need like a cheap one. I mean, something like this for now is fine. 5,000 liters would last us quite some time. I have it off to the side. As, trucks, as tractors pass by, they can just get filled up along the way. Now we do have to go fill that up with some fuel. And for that one, you don't have to actually bring fuel to it. You just buy it from the thing directly. Now it might be cheaper to go to the gas station and bring it over, but... I don't know why I just ran all the way over there. <laughs> teleport to the teleport to the harvester and I'm rolled there. Alright. Let's go ahead and get you filled up. I mean, 6,000 bucks or 5,000 liters. I mean, that's going to last us... Uh, a very long time, so I mean, we could just buy it, just have it, and be, be comfortable with that, and just not even have to worry about it anymore. Did you really just chew up our stupid, our field, you stupid idiot? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't get that. I don't. I mean, it's fine. It's not. We're. It's not the end of the world. At you know, when it's all said and done, but it's a little silly that. And that's part of the reason why I'm trying to combine these fields, because stuff like that can happen on how close these fields are. But I do wish the uh, AI was just a little bit more intelligent with things like that. You should be able to see the, def the, 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 the difference there, you know, the divider much more easily. Really going to go this way? I want you to go this way.
All right. Let you get one more load, and then we'll drop this off. Alright, get you going down with the lime. Um, what else we got? Basically, yeah, I mean, the other guy's doing his thing. He's obviously going to take quite some time to get that finished up. Um, really, everything else is just kind of waiting, waiting game at this point. We get to December. Um... Uh, there's nothing happening in December, obviously. Really, the next thing that happens is is the planting of the barley, right? Not the barley, uh, sorghum in April. No, corn at the same time. So corn and, uh, and sorghum will be in April. Nothing gets harvested between now and then. All right, no, no, not too bad. And sugar beets we're not going to do for a while because, again, we've got so many. So we'll just do corn on that, that field for a bit. I think I mentioned that already. All right, that's done.
All right, well, I'm gonna let this guy run for a little bit. We'll come back when he is a bit further along. All right, we're back. Uh, did a lot of stuff uh, during the skip there. Obviously, I finished harvesting this field, finished plowing it, and now I am finishing the liming as well. Just get everything set up. Uh, I could've come back sooner, but honestly, I was I was eating dinner and other things, so just gotta let it run for a bit. Get past that boring stuff. I mean, uh, harvesting sugar beets is not the most exciting thing in the world. All right, that is done. We are going to, uh, sorry, just make sure my, my volume looks a little bit high. Eh, something like that. Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and um, skip ahead to the next month, I think. I think we're good for everything this month. We'll double check the pigs here in a moment, but we should be good. I actually probably go ahead and top this guy's fuel off. Just since we already have it over there anyway. I did go ahead and buy... I should have bought this sooner, actually. But I went ahead and bought the little shed over here. With the GPS antenna for... Just making the workers more efficient. Alright, while it's doing that, let's check the pigs. Pigs are still... Perfectly okay. I guess we haven't passed water really. We've only gone through a couple hours today, so yeah, that has, you would expect they're they're fine. Um, that's really it. All right, well, let's go ahead and get you parked. Uh, next month will be kind of a dead month for us, I believe. So really, not much going on. We'll go ahead and skip ahead now. Like, like I said, I think the next thing would be. April is the next thing. Corn and uh, sorghum. All right, big chunk of loan interest. Obviously, we're, we're paying lots of money right now. I mean, we're gonna be, we're gonna go pretty far in the hole early on here. But my hope is that once we really get the pigs rolling, that that will start to make up for it in the long run. And they, baby pigs, just do not eat much at all, do they? Wow. I mean, we've only got nine, to be fair, but it's just insane how little they eat. I mean, I could add more pigs to this just to kind of get us going better, but I really wanted to get our field rotation kind of rolling before I really started ramping up the pigs. Um, not naturally, I guess. I mean, and naturally, they're going to still ramp up a little bit on their own, but... And, and once they start having babies, they will obviously will, will grow uh, pretty quickly there. But, uh, all right, well, that's that. I mean, again, I don't think there's anything else to do. Uh, I guess, do I need to do any herbiciding on anything? I can't remember if I actually herbicided everything that we have planted. Nope, oh, I forgot to herbicide 73 over there. Still got time. We can go get that done real quick. Uh, fertilizing should all be done, though. Um, liming is done aren't everywhere except here. Forgot about that field, but we can get that done as well. Fertilizing's done on every field that's been planted. Because obviously that's part of our thingy. Alright, let's grab you to it doesn't matter which order we do this in. Um where's our sprayer? Sprayer's over here, isn't it? Yep, there it is. Oops, if I actually line up properly. All right, let's get you herbiciding. We'll go ahead and get the other tractor to do the uh, liming while we're doing this as well. Not that it has to be brushed immediately because we still have time before the corn comes out, but might as well get it done while we're doing something else. possible once this is once it's all said and done once we finally get everything set up it will be an insurmountable hole that we can't get out of i honestly don't know we'll see kind of how it goes obviously the longer it takes for us to get our pigs kind of rotation going the more interest we will have accrued which means the more interest we will be spending each each month i mean it's just it obviously compounds pretty quickly but once we can actually start selling pigs they they will sell for a pretty good amount
All right, good stuff there. Um, I mean, I guess we could always kind of keep an eye on the contracts to see if any of them come up with anything that we actually have. I'm not, I don't, I'm not going to do any of these other contracts up here, like the cultivating, plowing, and that kind of stuff. I only care about these supply and transport contracts. Uh, if we get one of these that happens to line up with our stuff, like for example, 43,000 liters of potatoes for 10,000 bucks. Um, I don't remember how many thousand liters of potatoes we have sitting over there, actually. I mean, 10,000 bucks for 43,000. What's that look like compared to what it actually sells for? I mean, at its best price, which is 200 bucks, 231 actually at Cold Crest right now is, is actually basically the best price. Uh, 40,000 liters would be... Hmm... Uh, be 46 plus what, about 92, 9,200 bucks ish. Um, maybe a little bit more because it technically is 43,000, but still it's, I still think this is slightly better price. It's not by much, so it's not by like, it's a massive amount, but I think it is a slightly better price. I don't know that we want to do that right now. We're going to sit on the potatoes for the moment, but long-term that might be something we, we look into. I bet he missed this top part of the here at the top. We'll get that all cleaned up. Next harvest will be... Mm, barley in June, I think. I need to go ahead and put my harvest on my calendar on my notebook just so I have that set up already. All right, good job. Get that all done. Now, the one thing, um, selling animals does not benefit from the yield bonuses, right? The uh, environmental score, right? I don't think it does. Now, the products, like if we get the eggs up, that will count because that's a that's an actual product. But the pigs themselves, since you're actually selling the animal, not getting any sort of like product from it i mean you're technically getting them the meat obviously we know what's happening but uh it doesn't count that way uh so in that case it's uh it's a little bit less worthwhile to uh try to get the higher environmental scores i mean we're still going to because getting higher environmental scores means that you've got good yields as well but i guess we could technically worry a little bit less if there's anything that is not quite as yield beneficial but would be um you know, good for environment, we could potentially skip that. Uh, 
All right, that is done. December is done now. All right, let me go ahead and write these other three dates down while I'm sitting here looking at it. Actually, I'll go ahead and do that between episodes so you guys don't sit here waiting for me. But uh, I'll get that written down so I have my calendar kind of more set up. But next thing will be just fast forward again and uh, pretty much fast forward at this point until time to plant the sorghum and the corn and all that stuff. So I do appreciate you guys watching though. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.